Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the RMS Beauty Uncover Up Concealer and Foundation. I have it in the shade 11. This product is new to Sephora and is an organic line. Their products are made out of raw, food grade, organic, anti-aging ingredients and it's non-toxic to your skin. The product to me is very unique. The packaging is interesting. You don't get a lot of product though. You only get 0.2 ounces. It comes in a glass jar container. If you're worried about the product drying, I wouldn't because I think it's very well made. It has some weight to it and it's just a really nice container. I mean, you can see how tiny this product is. Maybe a little expensive for what you pay for, but you're mainly paying for the name and the organic ingredients that are supposed to be amazing for your skin. Um, or at least not harmful for your skin, you know. One of the first ingredients that I see is coconut oil, just so you guys know. So it gives you an idea of the type of product this is. It's pretty hydrating. It's very creamy. It does melt into your skin beautifully, and I really enjoy it. This is a foundation and concealer. Um, you can use it all over your face, or you can use it as a light concealer under the eyes, maybe you know, correct some redness around the cheeks, around the nose, forehead, wherever you want. I personally like to use it as concealer only just because um, just the packaging, I think it's really hard to, it's not hard, it just takes a lot of time to apply the product on your entire face. I've tried it and that's what I'm going to do today, but it takes some time. I don't use a beauty blender or a brush to apply this. I think that would take even longer. I only use my fingers and I think the warmth of your fingers with this product works beautifully on your skin. It really does melt into your skin. It doesn't ever exaggerate dryness, ever. I think it'd be great for blemishes because you know they're like dry, crusty, red. So when I do use it for concealer, I apply my Kogan Do, my Holy Grail foundation on my face, just a little bit, and then apply this RMS Beauty Concealer Foundation under my eyes, maybe around the nose and any other spots that I feel like concealing just a little bit. When you wear this, it's not going to look like makeup, and that's something I really appreciate, and I think you guys will too. Let me stop rambling and just apply it on my face. Again, I'm going to show you a close-up. You can see my pores, redness, freckles, sun damage. I don't know what these things are. They're just there. You guys have seen it many, many times. Warm it up. It's a little stiff when you first put your finger in, but it's eventually going to become very creamy. It doesn't glide on the skin easily. You can see that I'm kind of tugging at my skin if you do that. So because it kind of tugs on your skin while applying, that's why I find that using it all over just takes a little bit too much time. It is leaning more luminous, but it's not greasy at all. It's just so natural. I think it covered my under eyes quite nicely. Doesn't look heavy or cakey. I mean, it's, it's a thicker consistency but it doesn't look thick and heavy on your skin. I feel like it even erased my blackheads. You can definitely see that my dark under eye circles had some assistance, very nice assistance. But I'm gonna show you that this product does crease. I'm gonna try to conceal some dark spots I have right here. So you can still see it, but it's not as dark and red. I also feel like as I keep using this, it just becomes more creamy and just more emollient. So it does kind of take time for the product to warm up, I guess. So far, so good. I think it looks very natural. What do you guys think? Am I the only one that thinks it's natural? You can still see my skin, but it's just a little bit more evened out, a little bit more glowy, luminous. I think my nose looks fantastic. I love it so far. I kind of avoided the perimeters. Um, that's a lot of work, guys. This small finger applying such huge surface area is gonna take forever. I don't wanna say a little goes a long way because it's not as easy to spread. It's a thicker 
creamier product. So it's not like going to be watery and spread from here to here. It's not going to happen unless you press really hard on your skin. And you don't want to do that. You just want to kind of work in small motions down. You know, you don't want to go... Bleh. You know, if you did want to kind of sheer it out and make it look more natural and maybe more luminous, maybe you can um, go over your entire face with a damp sponge. You just take off any excess, but I don't really feel the need to do that. I think the coverage is perfect. It's not heavy or cakey. I don't apply the rest of my makeup. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm in the middle of applying makeup, and I just want to show you guys how much it creases under the eyes if you don't set it. I'm going to set at least one of my eyeballs just so maybe we can compare how it wears throughout the day. So now we are completely creaseless. I imagine that for most people, the concealer won't be enough for their under eyes. I mean, this is a very light concealer. So just keep that in mind. It's not supposed to be like high full coverage under eye concealer or face concealer. It's just a very nice, natural, non-heavy, non-toxic, anti-aging concealer. So, and it's also creamy, which is going to be prone to creasing. It offers just enough to provide a little bit of coverage and mask your dark circles but if you have like intense dark circles I don't think that this will be for you you would need additional product to apply underneath your eyes this to me is like an everyday no makeup makeup kind of product I think it's beautiful it still allows you to see your skin underneath the makeup I think this does a better job at covering your redness more than blurring out your pores because I can still see it. You can definitely see that I am getting oily, especially on my forehead. If you have oily skin, this may not be the product for you this time of year because it's really hot outside, but the product is still there, the coverage is still there. Also keep in mind I have a ring light in front of me so the reflection is going to look a lot more intense than it actually is. Although I'm oily and oils began to produce in my skin, it still did not separate the foundation. My chin still looks great. I honestly can't tell much of a difference in creasing in both eyes. They kind of look the same to me. I like this foundation concealer, however, I'm going to use it as concealer over my foundation and just kind of spot conceal where I want and use it under my eyes. Yes, it creases, but I really don't mind. It's an easy fix. I just kind of tap it under and it goes away. And by the end of the day, the creasing isn't there. I didn't notice it today, probably because I'm so used to using it now. But the first couple of times, I will say I wasn't very fond of the scent. It smells very, like, organic. I don't think there's any fragrances in there because this is a very non-toxic makeup. So I think they try to keep it pure and clean as possible. Therefore, it's not going to smell that great. It kind of smelled like, I want to say clay or crayons. I don't know, but it's not that strong. Like I said, after a couple times of use, I didn't even notice it today. So it's not that big of a deal. And I personally like applying these types of products on my skin because I feel like it's safe, especially really close to my under eyes. I don't know. It just I really appreciate this company in general for making products like this for our skin. I find that most concealers sometimes exaggerate dry patches on my skin, especially like blemishes and crusty areas. This one doesn't do that. It really just hydrates that area wherever you apply it and just covers it. It's not going to completely mask where you apply it, but it kind of evens out your skin tone really nicely. You can still see my skin. It's natural. It's glowy. It's everything I like in a product. If you have any other questions, make sure to comment below. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!